I'm sorry. Did I disturb you? Oh, okay. So, how are you doing? That's good to hear. Well, I'm doing all right. No, no, I'm not calling for a small talk. I was wondering, if you're not too busy, I was wondering if you want to hang out with me on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Nothing huge, no. It's only you and me. Hang out. I really want to catch up with you since things have been getting out of hand lately. And of course, I know the two of us have been busy, so we don't have time to spend time with each other. So, what do you say? If you don't feel comfortable, that's totally understandable. Oh, great. Wanna come over at 6 p.m.? <laughs> You'll bring the popcorn and wine, huh? Well, it's a deal. See you then. Oh, shoot. They're here, and the bacon-wrapped sausages are not done cooking yet. <gasps> my hair! I have to check my hair. <sighs> and to think I forgot. What with the preparations I have to make? Why did I decide to invite my friend at the last minute? Stupid me. Ugh, no time. Hey, sorry about that. Come on in. You can put your shoes in the closet. I can put your jacket away. Don't be silly. You're my guest. It's really good to see you again. The smell? Oh, shoot! It looks like my appetizer is ready. Ouch! Hot, 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 hot! Oh, all good. Nothing is better than having fresh from the oven. Am I right? <laughs> Ugh. I know it was the last minute when I invited you over. I met when I said about spending time with each other. Please, have a seat. I'll bring the appetizers while you make yourself comfortable. That was a close one, and I thought I messed up. Ooh, nice! You brought the popcorn and wine? Now we're going to get this rolling. So, what have you been up to lately anyway? It's been what, since February that we chatted and hung out? Nothing. Come on. There has to be something that I miss while we were busy. But if you feel uncomfortable, I understand. Me? Well, I was out of a job for a few months until I found one. But it's remote. It will be temporary once everything clears up. Thank you. It means a lot. It hasn't been easy, but I'm glad everything has worked itself out. Okay, enough of the sappy stuff. We're here to have fun and catch up, right? And it looks like the bacon-wrapped sausages are ready to be eaten. Want the first bite of it? Delicious, huh? I just made them since I know they're a favorite. So, since we have a few hours to kill, is there something you want to do? I have entertainment lined up for us in case. Ah, watch some anime episodes. Good choice. Now, which show you want to watch? Excellent choice. Okay, I'm going to pull it up. Oh, there's some food I laid out on the table if you're hungry. Sure, I'll pop some wine for us while I'm at it. No, 
I wasn't getting sleepy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe we should stretch our legs for a bit. We have been watching the... We have been watching this anime since six. Why don't we pause for a bit? We can get back to it once we're done. The balcony? Yeah, we can go over there and see the view. <sighs> it is a wonderful view, I have to admit. We can see the fireworks once midnight strikes. Say, what time is it? Whoa, 11.45 p.m.? Time flies when you're having fun with your best friend. Yeah, it's really nice to be hanging out with you again. Honestly, it's been so long. I missed you too. Honestly, I was wondering about you for the past few months. I know we message here and there, but still... Hey, why the gloomy face? Come on, something has been bothering you, and I can see your sad face while we're binge-watching some anime. Well, nothing hides from me. Now come on, you can tell me. I'm concerned about you, but if you don't feel like sharing, it's okay. We can... You've been looking for a job, huh? And you weren't able to find one. But you can help your parents out in any way you can. No, I hear you. You're not alone in this. Of course. I did say I lost my job a few months back. But look at me now. Well, I hope you find one. But if you can't, no worries. Maybe you'll find one. Once everything clears up, don't give up hope. I mean it. I know that this year has sucked, but there was a silver lining to all of this. Oh, and they finally got the vaccine coming. Won't be long till we get it. And things are getting less bleak since things are getting serious before it wasn't. I'm sure the new year will be great since things are looking better. Sure, we have things to sort out. Nevertheless, we're making progress. And I'm sure you'll be able to find a job if that's the case. Believe me. Hey, you're not a bother at all. I'm happy to help. Come on, you're not a bother to anyone else. I've already proved my point by listening and helping you out, right? And listen, if you need anything, please, let me know. Even if we get busy, we can check up on each other when we get the chance. No one wants to be overwhelmed in whatever situation we have. Why do I care? Well, why shouldn't I care? Can't I care for the one I love? Did I say love? I, I mean, um, uh, um, oh no. Yeah, I do love you, even though we've been keeping ourselves busy. I had, um, feelings for you since college, but I couldn't bring it up because you were dating, and then work came along, so I couldn't bring it up. So... Yeah, I'm sorry if you're taken back by it. I understand. Love is a strong word, and we didn't start dating, so... <laughs> Does that mean... Um, you have feelings for me as well? Since college, huh? But you were afraid to say something, huh? Wow, we should have said something sooner. It would make things a lot easier.
Whoa. Well, that startled me. Wait, is the New Year here? Well, what do you know? It's finally here. Definitely pretty. But you know what? It makes it more pretty when you're here with me. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm glad we're able to do this. Now, give me a New Year's kiss. Yeah, now that the new year is here, here's to hoping we can look forward to things, and we're going to do this together. Just you wait.